I hear people asking not so amazing questions. And I know we don't like to say the word stupid questions because that sounds kind of harsh. But I've definitely seen when people are after answers, the better the question, my friends, the better the answer. I'll give you an example. If I tell you, hey, man, um, give me all the equations with the, that uh, give me a sum of four. They give me the answer of four. They'll say, okay, two plus two, three plus one, uh, six minus two, whatever. There's this many. But if I say, hey, what is two plus two? You say four. There's only one answer. What I mean by that, my friends, is in life, whenever you're after an answer, people make the mistake of they go after the door. They, they try to kick this door down. When in reality, my friends, it's not the door that you should pay so much attention to. It is the key. Because if you have a golden key, you can open the golden door. If you have a wooden key, you can open the wooden door. The better the question, the better your answer. So if you want a fantastic answer from somebody, you're going to have to ask a fantastic question. You're in a relationship. The difference between, you know, you're with someone, you're not really sure what's going on, and you ask, so, um, what now? Or, so, what is this? That's one kind of question. And is it bad? Is it, I don't know. It sounds kind of vague. As opposed to saying, hey, um, so I definitely have feelings for you. And I'm not sure if you have feelings for me too, but I was thinking of, you know, is continuing what we're doing right now, is that a possibility? Is that likely? Now, my friends, all I'm saying is with being a better question is, you know, being really specific, being concise, going directly after the point, the main point that you're trying to get across. So as opposed to, you know, going just, what are we, you know, saying, hey, like, you know, in the question saying, you know, are we going to continue doing what we're doing? You go up to a prof, you go up to a teacher and you go, how can I do good? Again, that's a fine question. You're going to get a fine answer. But if I want a fantastic answer, I'll go, hey, how can I work hard and efficiently to make sure I do amazingly on all of our tests this term? That is a specific and concise question. That's going to lead to a specific and concise answer. Right? You ever go to a personal trainer and go, how do I get better? It's like, okay, well, that's making their job easy. As opposed to going, hey, how do I lose weight? How do I gain muscle? How do I get a six pack? How do I increase my cardio? Does that make sense, my friends? In the sense that now I'm asking amazing, specific, concise questions, which will lead to hopefully amazing, concise answers. So I really do think we have it backwards. Um, I really do think we want to try to figure out individuals, figure out relationships, figure out tips and tricks and how to. It really is the better question, the better answer. Um, from personal example, I, I used to tutor not too long ago at my high school. And, you know, there are people will come in and, you know, they'll just be like, I need help. And I'd say, okay, great. So when you first meet a woman and then they'd be like, what? No, I don't need help about that. I need help with, with like my English paragraph. I'd be like, oh, why didn't you say so? Obviously I knew I was just messing with them. That was a bad joke. Anyways, what I meant was, well, I need help. Like, great. Like, like further on, keep going, man. What do you know? I help with my English. It's almost like, it's not not disrespectful at all, but sometimes it's like it's like talking to a kid. Like, you got to bring it out of them. Okay, you need with your help, you need help with your English to, to finish my paper. Okay, you need help with your English to finish your paper with respect to, to tying up my conclusion. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I was looking for. As opposed to coming up to me just first and be like, hey, uh, Daniel, I have this paper. Can you help me out? Um... Just make sure that the conclusion is in sync with the rest of my body paragraphs. Boom. Look, man, that's done. You are good. Right? That's all you need. The more concise, the more specific. And it makes it easier, too, for the person who you're asking for the answer, for the tip. It, it makes it so much easier because when your, your question is clear and it's direct, it, it's a lot easier for them to pick up on it. Now, obviously, sometimes um, it can be not as easy, right? Maybe you're in the moment. Maybe you're on stage. You have to say something. You kind of... You stutter, you say something wrong accidentally, but usually back and forth, you work together and you and whoever you're asking, you guys can go to a succinct, synchronized answer. So my friends, you want fantastic answers, better start asking fantastic questions.